This is a game I cannot pronounce. Ark 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 Annoid. Ark Annoid? I can never pronounce the name of this right. Ark Annoid. Ark Annoid. Ark Annoid? Ark Annoid. Ark Annoid. Ark Annoid. This is a game I cannot pronounce. Arkanoid? Maybe is the right name of it. I can never pronounce the name of this right. This was made uh, by uh, Baxter. It's the three ball run, or you could almost call it the non warps run. And we just got this console verification working a few minutes ago. It's not the most interesting sound ever, but I have to admit the ball handling in this particular run is surprisingly complex. And kudos to Baxter for all of his work on this. Uh, this run was made all the way back in 2007 and has not been beaten since. So this is not exactly a new run, but it really holds up to the test of time, watching how he manages to move all of these around the way he does. So, this is a warped run. It does not attempt to improve the previous run of this game. Uh, the goals aren't the same either. Um, so the, there's a warped version of this run that's just, it aims to get through everything as fast as you possibly can. And you can use laser power-ups and all kinds of other things. But this one is specifically using just the three-ball power-up. Only the power three-ball power-up. Um, and Baxter points out that I don't know exactly how to pronounce this. Arkanoid? Arkanoid? Arkanoid. Arkanoid. Um, it is quite different from tasking any other kind of game. Now, I will say, having done a lot of tool-assisted speedruns on things like pinball games, that's a very accurate statement. Because you're talking about manipulating the direction of a ball. You're not talking about some random individual character platforming. Um, there are some things going for this game that are kind of handy. Uh, Baxter reports that there's no lag at all, so it doesn't really complicate things. But one thing I'd like to point your attention to is if you see Taskbot up here, he's only got two buttons. He has left and right, and that's pretty much it. And there's a couple of things he can do to launch the ball, maybe, but that's about it. So the only time you'll ever see him press a button other than left or right is when he's moving the ball, or when he's launching the ball initially. Which means that your only opportunity to make differences in the RNG sequence are the left and right buttons, where you position the paddle. That's it. That's the only influence you have on this game. And you're trying to juggle three balls at the same time while completing everything as fast as possible. This <laughs> Big Bears, stop with the out of context stuff. There's people in Twitch chat right now commenting that, that all my comments of ball handling are being taken out of context. <laughs> and I think it's kind of funny. But y'all are naughty. <laughs> um, so, let's see what else he says about this. There's some really interesting things. Um, there's there's 36 levels with 35 cutscenes in between. Um, and he's right about this. So one of the things he comments about in his note is Baxter comments that there are so many possible options, and man, is he telling the truth. There are so many different ways you could organize things. In this case, like this particular level, you can see he's manipulating it to go in between, and right now he's only got one ball. I suspect there's a reason for that. Actually, I don't know why he used only one ball in this particular level. So that was level 11. Um, there's no non-gray block. This means no power-ups power can be collected. So that's why that particular level had no power-ups at all. The level needs to be cleared with one ball. And I have to agree with him. It turned out really well. Quite well indeed. Playing in Lan Lance Armstrong mode. Oh, you guys are terrible. Yes, okay, level 11 is the Lance Armstrong level. Ha ha. <laughs> My chat is, is really messing with me right now. Because <laughs> that's just what they do. 
Um, that is amazing. So level 14, he said, the enemies were used at the end. I believe it. So this is level 15. Uh, this version turned out three seconds faster than using a laser. Now, of course, he's only using a ball. He says it's cool since of its length, the balls travel really fast at the end. And and he's right, as it, as it gets faster, it does get a lot more entertaining. It's pretty crazy how fast this game can get. Like, you're looking at the speed of this, it's, it's a little insane. I'm going to go with yes, this is significantly better than the... Um, significantly better than the demo screens method of playing. So, if there are enemies at the level, and most of the levels have enemies, the moment at which you fire from the position will affect the game, since the enemy will have a different location if you wait a little while to fire. So the start of the game affects what enemies will show up. Uh, there are a hundred different positions you could possibly start with, which makes a lot of sense if you, if you think about all the different locations on the bottom of the screen. And you want to get the three ball power up pretty quickly wherever you can, which decreases your starting options a lot because there's only a few certain specific places where it'll come out. So each time the ball hits the paddle, you have six basic angles in which you can shoot the ball. If you run into the ball from the side, you have one of, one of six angles, but it will, be sh will shoot from a slightly different location, which also produces something different. There are over six options each time you shoot the ball, basically. And then the spot where the enemies appear can be influenced, as discussed earlier. Uh, and if you fire at the left of the screen, they will appear at the left. If you fire at the right, they appear on the right, things like that. And, and he's basically comparing it to there are many possible roads to get there. But you have to just try over and over and over again until you find one that really is an obviously good road. By the way, I saw this level earlier, and I like how he releases these three, uh, the extra balls, right in the middle of everything. It's, it's surprisingly well done. Curly, your ears? What happened to your ears? Did I speak too loud? The hamster has started running again. Not quite sure what you're talking about there. So this level 23, uh, it's a very long level, and the end at the end the score counter keeps counting. This happened since a few gray blocks were cleared at the end, which gave many, many points. So look for the score counter. Yeah, see right there, the score count just kept going after. <laughs> the dings are, yeah. I can tell you guys aren't a big fan of the volume here, so I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. But <laughs> my Twitch chat as I'm recording this is saying, yeah, it's... Really annoying sounds. And they're not entirely wrong. The dings are classic, though. They bring back some serious memories here. Yeah, this does get old after a while, especially here. You know what I could do? I could I could make this more fun. I don't ever alter the video, but I have been tempted. Let's just have a little bit of fun and see if we can't make this a little sound a little better. Let, let's try let's try this. These these are so tenny. Let's see what happens if we do this. I'm gonna manipulate the audio a little bit. Let's see if this makes it better. Did that improve the sound? What do you think? There's only so much you can do. Here, let's make it the opposite. It makes it sound faster. Okay, how, how, about, how about we try this instead? Let's try this effect. That only sort of improves it. It doesn't actually make it better. Oh good, now it echoes. Everybody's favorite. Let's try, let's try, uh... 
Let's try nine. Oh, I know. If you thought one was good, let's try more. I just made even more of them happen. That's not a good effect. Ooh, this could be fun. Tell me that isn't a better effect. How about this one? How about this one? This one's better. I don't know if I like that effect. That, that sounded weird. How about this one? Oh, my brain can't handle this. Ah, no, I did not like that. <laughs> Ow. Too much separation. Ooh, I like this one. That was entertaining. That was, that was, that was okay. Let's try this one. I didn't like that at all. Yeah, I think my favorite is probably this. <laughs> yeah. Although the reverb is kind of nice. All the reverb. Okay, I think I'm done with that. Sorry. This is just not all that very... <laughs> this... this... So, this game is, is what it is. So we're on level 35 already, uh, which means we're almost to the end of it. Um, so level 33 we just did. Um, there's a lot of gray blocks that need to hit, and there are always a bunch at the end. It's really hard to clear a room like that. So this strategy is similar to what uh, Genistro did in his non-three-ball run. You can stop the input uh, when the boss fires its last stop. Uh, last shot. After you avoid being hit by a shot, the input is, is fine. So, I mean, he stopped input way before it actually finished. So, that is Baxter's Arcanoid. 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 That was made by Baxter all the way back in 2007, and this run was completed in 12 minutes and 26 seconds. Thanks for putting up with the audio, and we'll have fun with the next stream some other time.